not getting that message. Can I, can this, can I make it a bit louder? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Sky Blue Trust March and Rally 2014. If you don't know me, my name's Moz Baker from the Sky Blue Trust Board. This is all about Coventry City returning to Coventry. We want to go home. Looking out, I see young people, I see old people, some even older people. Hiya, Lionel. I see grandparents, I see children, I see people who are Coventry City supporters, I see people who just live in Coventry and recognise that Coventry deserves and needs its own football team. And I'm guessing every single person here is here because they know one thing, they know this is wrong. They know that taking a football club out of its community cannot be defended. They know that Coventry City Football Club remains and belongs in Coventry. come on to them later. How the hell has it come to this? A once proud club, a club that spent 34 years in football's top flight. Now playing 35 miles away in Northampton. Playing in front of pathetic crowds in a dump of a stadium. Indulge me for a moment if I give you a little bit of information about myself. My route to becoming a Coventry City fan is not a conventional one. I didn't come from a long line of Coventry City supporters. My granddad was a Geordie, my dad is a Scouser. We all have our crosses to bear. I was brought up going to Anfield and I watched players. I watched players like Keegan and Toshak and then Dalgleish and Rush and they were the best team in the business at that time. But I, as a very young teenager, made a decision. I decided that I didn't want to chase glory. I went to support the team that I lived in, and that is Coventry. Born in Hillfields, just a stone's throw from the old ground. Raised in Bindley, a pupil at Bindley Park School. I didn't choose Coventry, it chose me! So for me, my new idols became Tommy Hutchinson, Fergie and Wallace, Gary Thompson, Tom English, Terry Gibson, Cyril Rages, Dave Bennett, David
it's Feeney, Gordon Stratton, Gary McAllister, Hadji, Robbie Keane. The list goes on. I also saw David Bradford, but we don't talk about that. This city is important to me. It's important to you as well. It's a community of special people. A city with a great history. A city with a great tradition. That's why this tragedy is so, so difficult to deal with. Football is tribal, it's partisan, it's all about a sense of belonging, a sense of caring, it's about passion, it's about being part of a community. You take the football club out of that community and it starts to die. This football club is dying. Whether you're one of the few that go inside six fields, whether you stand on the hill, whether you ignore match days and do something different, or if you've already decided that you've walked away and are doing something else with your lives, you all feel the same, that this is wrong. A football club, club belongs amongst its people, its community, owned by people who care about that community, people who can be trusted with its heritage and trusted with its future. A football club in the community needs that tender, loving care and stewardship. A football club is no place for speculators and chancers. This club is on life support at the moment. Another season at Northampton and I fear the worst. If our current owners really do care about this football club and its community, they need to do the right thing now. Now we've had the offer last night and hopefully you all will have received that. Let us hope that it isn't just paper talk. Let us hope that it's not just a PR exercise. We've had enough posturing. Let us hope that they take that on board and go forward with it and the Coventry City can return to the RICO soon. So I say to our owners, pay the money that you're due, 590,000 it is, it's money that's owed to the Football League and then on to ACL and then a deal can be struck and drop the appeal. You lost the appeal, Justice Hickenbottom didn't just reject it, he kicked it and trampled all over it. You took a hammer in the High Court, even Brazil were closer to victory. And do a deal for the sake of our city and our long-suffering supporters who don't deserve the hell that they're currently going through. And if there is a new stadium out there, and I know one or two people might be a tad sceptical, but if there is and you're intent on building it, get on and building it and stop coming up with rubbish excuses and stalling tactics. We've heard enough. Whether it's as part of the Sky Blues Truth Trust Board or whether just as a normal fan, I'm going to continue fighting for this football club and I know you are too. There's no white knight here. And if we're all relying on the Football League to save us, then we are in trouble. Weak, spineless, how can they do this? How can they let this happen to a community football club? How can it make up its own rules as it goes along?
have to keep on in the Football League now. We have to be on their back. We have to let them know what we want. And that is only one thing at the moment, initially, and that is to get Coventry City back at the Rico Arena. <laughs> keep up the pressure. Don't give up the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a football club to save and a football club to prosper in the future. Thank you very much.